Hey, welcome back. It's another spontaneous toy review. And that's why they're called spontaneous toy reviews, because you never know when we're going to show up. Hi, I'm Lauren Stone. I'm the editor in chief for Toy Wizards. That's toy wizards.com. And if you don't know our site, we're an all encompassing toy news website. We do original articles, original toy reporting, um, all sorts of goodness. Um, hopefully, you guys know the site, and that's why you're hanging out here with me right now. So what am I reviewing today? Thank you so much for asking. Um, for those of you who follow me on Facebook, you may have seen that I posted a huge box yesterday of, um, I just, you didn't know what was in it. I posted a huge box and I said that we were gonna do a spontaneous toy review. And now I'm going to show you what was inside that box. Um, it is actually a huge box full of jumbo robots by my friend and custom toy maker, Tom Hughes. So this is not from a company. These are um, custom uh, figures. There's one that is not custom, and I'll show you that one. And I'm going to go more into depth on that one. Um, in the next couple weeks, I think I'm going to touch on that one. So before I show you what was inside the box, I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to show you a previous piece that I have made by Tom. It is so, this is a one of a kind. Like people on the internet are trying to kill me for this. Look, this is TikTok from Return to Oz. This was custom made for me. And like, you know, the, oh my God, like the toy collecting community is amazing. I'm not talking like, oh, I go to shows and I collect things, which never discounting. You, you know, live your best life. I'm talking about when you really get deep into it and you start meeting people and people like want to help you get your grail items and you're at a show or you're at a yard sale or a flea market and you like remember that your friend said they needed a thing. And so you call them up or you send them a text and say like, hey, do you still need this? And the, I was just talking about TikTok and next thing I knew it was a 3D printed one at my door. I am so lucky. So this is just stunning. Tom and his crew made this, um, Tristan and West. They all designed it, they made it, and my husband painted it. So I am so stoked. So that was my first, that was my first one. That was a gift. And then it was, then after that, I, I had to start buying them. So I'm not exempt. I'm not exempt. Um, in that box also, yeah, from yesterday, there was a, from, from Jumbo to Itsy Bitsy, we have a little getter robot. So that one was so cool. So what was inside that box. I'm going to show you the first one. This one um, is not made by Tom and his team. Um, sorry if my eyes are doing funny things. I'm in, as you can see, I'm not in my normal filming space. So I, my camera is a little, little funny. So um, I'm going to do a further review on this. This is not a custom, but it is a jumbo. Look, look at this. I have wanted this for like, it's look, it's the Astro Megazord jumbo. And Tom threw this in the box for free. Like, oh my God, I shouldn't even say that. Oh my God, I shouldn't tell you. <laughs> free or not free, it doesn't matter. Persian to Persian. But yeah, I got this in the box as well. I am so blown away. I love this. I'm going to go into further details. Um, I have the Astro Megazord Gunpla on the way. And when I put that together, I'm going to do a full review of all the Astro Megazords that I have because, oh my God, I love the Astro Megazord. It's from Power Rangers in Space. Um, which is funny enough, not a season I've seen a whole bunch of, but like I saw that Astro Megazord and I just like zeroed in on it. Um, so inside the box, look at this. This is so cute. We have a Voltus V custom. This is based off the Lego. So if any of you have gone to shows or even seen it online, there's this line of... Um, Lego inspired minifigs, and there is a Voltus V1 I have on my desk. For those of you who um, listen to my rambles, you know that I have a uh, right there on the top shelf a little robot family. So I have like my I have just tons and tons and tons of tiny robots, and I have a Mazinger of the Lego collection, but I do not have the Voltus V. So this is so cute. My daughter is fighting me for this. Um, she offered to trade me her Voltron. <laughs> She's four. My daughter offered to trade me her Voltron for this Voltus V because in her words, it is so cute and chubsy wubsy. And she's been, I've been seeing her sneak. And, like I got this yesterday and she's been giving him hugs. Look at these beautiful stickers that Tom and his crew printed. So we have custom stickers on this beauty. Look at the paintwork. I just absolutely adore this Lego inspired Voltus V. And um, from, if you read the site, toy you'll know that this guy is extremely popular in parts of Asia still. 
let's get to the good stuff. Not that, not that this isn't the good stuff. This is the good stuff. All right. So fans of Mystery Science Theater 3000, this guy might look familiar to you. Bro, it's a Jet Jaguar. Jet Jaguar from Godzilla. Look at this. It is a big one. Um, I'd say 20, 21 inches. It's a little bit smaller than the one that came in the box with it. And I'll show you guys that one in a moment. So this was printed in a couple different segments, popped it together without any issues. The paint is wonderful. It's sturdy. I cannot believe that I am holding this. Um, again, um, you know, Jet Jaguar is from the Godzilla movies. When I, and I, found, I learned about Jet Jaguar from Mystery Science Theater 3000, as a lot of us did, because the early MST3K movies were all the Godzilla movies, all that early Toho stuff. Um, and there was even an entire art, there was an entire article, oh my god, I work too much. There was an entire song <laughs> that the MST3K guys, um, there's a Jet Jaguar song in the show, and like they mock um, riff, subtitled it, and it's ridiculous. But yeah, dude, Jet Jaguar. Godzilla has a robot in it. Godzilla has two robots in it. I'll show you that one coming up right now. So yeah, incredible, incredible work here by Tom and his team. Um, Jumbos, you know, have wheels, and that's my only that's my only respectful criticism is I'm having a little trouble popping the wheels in, but I'm not done. I will be able to do it. It is no big deal. So the next one in my giant box of robot amazingness. Let me show you. Is, oh my gosh, this is so cool. Guys, this is Zone Fighter. Zone Fighter, oh my God, look at, like, we got a sticker on his belt. I, I don't even know where, like, this is so beautiful. Like, look at the details. They printed and painted this, it popped right in. Um, the gloves are, you pop them on and they, um, Tom and his crew put, um, magnets in there. So they stay in everything. Look at the boots, you got the perfect, and, and like, look, look at the folds. Like this is printed. Look at the folds in the fabric of the boots. Look at the, look at the definition of the muscles on the arms. I mean, this is a beautiful, beautiful statue figure it moves there's some articulation um they just did such a good job and zone fighter is another godzilla um robot that just isn't discussed as much um in the franchise like i said a lot of people know jet jaguar either just because they've seen the movies with him in it or because they've watched mystery science theater but our buddy zone fighter here is um not discussed as often and he is spectacular. Uh, he, you know, I think he, I, from what I recall from the movies, he does like the, he either does lasers from his gloves or he does like a rocket punch and it soars. He can't be too sure. I'm not sure. Same thing with the, um, he has wheels because again, jumbos have wheels. Um, I'm having a little trouble clipping them incorrectly, but again, not a problem we can't solve here with a little bit of customizing. So I'm not going to take up too much of you guys' time, but I just wanted to show you some of these jumbo custom robots from Tom Hughes and his crew. Um, he opens for commissions every once in a while. Sometimes he'll, he'll do a run of a certain toy. Um, if you guys get in contact with him, maybe you can take, maybe he'll take requests. So that's just a conversation you guys have to have, but he is a working artist and loves making these. Um, always has new designs on the horizon. He and I chat often, and it's always like, I'm going to do this robot. No, I'm going to do this one. No, I'm going to do this one. Okay, now we're designing this one. Then it's, it's so much fun. So again, find friends that share your passions, and friends help each other get their grail items. Let me put that down. As you guys can see, as you can see too, they were sturdy. I was messing around with them. They are not dinky. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. This was another spontaneous toy review. I'm Lauren Stone from Toy Wizards, toy-wizards.com. And we're going to have our toy news live coming up in just a little bit. So enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys soon. All right, bye.